Okay, hi there. So today I'm going to be talking about the await block. And what that is, is this guy right here. And it will let you deal with prom promises. So here you'll have await and then you'll put some kind of promise right there. And then in between, you'll have a then statement. So right here is what will display while the promise is not resolved yet. And then once it has been resolved, it will uh, this block will show whatever is right here. So let me give you an example. So let's say I have a function called I promise and it returns a new promise like this and it's gonna have resolve and reject. Okay and then right here I'm going to just call I promise like that so I promise will run and return a function. So here I'm just gonna do set timeout um, so after maybe one second, it will call resolve, which will then put it over here. So right here, it's going to say waiting, dot, dot, dot. And right here, it'll say resolved. Okay, so you'll see it waits for one second, and then it is resolved. So if I do that again, waiting, 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 resolved. Okay, um, so that is kind of the base, most basic example that I can give you. Um, another thing you can do is, well, okay, one thing, so for example, if your resolve, let's say your resolve statement returns um, some something, okay, so maybe it just passes high to resolve, then you can get this here, let's call it variable, whatever it is, and then use that variable right here. So now it's going to say waiting high. Okay, so this will be passed in uh, to this right there. Okay, so that's a basic example. Another thing you can do is, if you don't want there to be this waiting message, if you want it to just be blank, is you can just put then variable right here, delete all this. Okay, so it's gonna show nothing for a second, and then hi. Okay, so that is just a simpler way to do it. Another thing you can do, um, so maybe with fetch, that's maybe a more useful example, and I'm just gonna take that straight from the tutorial. Um, and this may be a bit overwhelming if you're not familiar with async await and promises. Uh, you might want to learn about those if you want this tutorial to make more sense. But um, here you've got await promise. We got this there, and then it'll display the number. So whatever number is being returned, in this case it's called text, but it, that is the number. And then here, catch error. So uh, you can do this on any of your promises, catch error. And then here's the error message, and then you end the await right there. So what this does, generate random number, waiting, and then it gives you back whatever number it sends. And every once in a while it'll fail, and that will trigger this error response. Um, so the thing about fetch here, so it's fetching tutorial random number. Uh, the thing about fetch is that you can't, you need to put some of the promise logic into this function, because you can't really chain uh, promises in the in these template blocks what I mean by that is let's say you get then let's say you call fetch and then you just return whatever it fetches well here you need to also call this asynchronous function res.text so you can get the text and return that promise so if you just fetched and returned then you would you would get some promise out of here and then you'd have to resolve another promise inside of here and that's just not gonna work very well so all, so, yeah, like half the logic is in here. Get random number, it fetches. Res is going to wait for that to fetch. Okay, and then it calls res.text, so it gets the actual text from this response. You know, because usually it's got like a response header and all these other things, but you just want the text, and that is asynchronous. So you're going to wait for the text. And then if res is okay, you return the text, which is a promise um, itself. No, wait, no, it's not a promise. Is it a promise? Await promise. Yeah, so I guess this should be a promise itself. Um, okay, I'm not sure, but anyway, so it's going to return that. And then number, uh, the number is number. Okay, so that's all I'm going to talk about here. I hope you found that useful, and bye.